Hey, it's me. Hey, Duvia, how are you? Have a few minutes to talk? Sure. In this week's part show, you know, we, we find the original uh, quarantine, right? Very relevant for our time. Right after the part show actually continues last week's part show with the uh, counting and naming the Shevet Levi, we get to the part show of Vayishulchu Mina Machane, Kotsarua right? Anybody who is a little bit unpurified or has a little bit of issues with his Tahara has to leave the Machane. There's different Machanot, different sections, each one has different rules, but the Torah brings it as one general part show. And Rashi even points out this part show was said on the day that the mission was built for the first time. Yom HaKamat HaMishkan. Interesting. One of the things, especially in a long parasha like this, and we have several topics, is always to find the connection between the different topics that the Torah jumps from. As you mentioned, it starts talking about the Levim, and then jumps over to talk about those that are Mishulach Min HaMachane. And I think it, it's actually an interesting statement, because the first piece is talking about those who step forward, right? Those who are closer to the Mishkan, those who, you know, are taking taking a positive role in Kedusha. They're taking, you know, a, a further step than everyone else. And then the Meshulachim and Amachane are the ones that, you know, for the Tzibur, for the Kedusha of, of Am Yisrael and the Machane, for the Hashrayat Shechina, they basically have to step away. They basically have to step back. You know, you, you mentioned quarantine. There were so many jokes throughout the time we were locked down at home. One of them was, for the first time ever, to save the world, all you need to do is sit at home and watch TV. Please don't mess it up, right? And I think that's a very interesting statement because we see saving the world, right, as something you obviously have to go out, you have to fight, you have to do. In a certain sense, that's the Levim. The Levim get a special role. They step forward to bring Kedusha in Tam Israel to allow the Hashrayat Shechina. And then we have the others, as you mentioned, who are actually, they're saving the world by stepping back. They're saving the world by going into quarantine, by doing what they need to do. Seems the opposite of, you know, stepping forward and saving the world. But they're just as much taking a part in actually allowing the Shechina to rest in Am Israel because they're saving the world. They're doing for us by sometimes taking taking a step back and you know it's something that's hard for people to do people you know always want to be at the front they always want to say something they always want to do something they want to put themselves in the front and sometimes if you're really looking at what's good for the tzibur the way to do it is actually by sometimes saying okay right now what's needed is for me to take a step back for me to separate myself this is how i can give to the tzibur not by putting myself in the front but actually by putting you know am israel in the front you know, it's super interesting what you're saying. A few weeks ago in the Dafi Army, we learned the Gemara about the one individual who gets lost in the desert and he doesn't know when Shabbos is and he has to start counting. So there's a machloket in the Gemara whether he counts Shabbos and then six days or if he counts six days and then Shabbos. And Rav Kook and Enaya on this piece talks about, first of all, about the fundamental idea in Judaism of uplifting the Chod, of uplifting everything we do in this world towards the holiness, towards the Dushah. And then he drills down specifically to talk about how that machloket is affected from that idea. But Rav Kook says, that the idea of being able to uplift the whole is rooted in being part of a tzibur, is being part of a cloud. An individual is not part of the cloud. Obviously, has a, a lot harder time to uplift himself, to uplift the whole around him. And when you're part of a tzibur, it is done for you with the tzibur. The public does it for each individual and helps each individual do so. But when you're on your own, when you're not part of a public, it's very hard to do that and it's, you can get lost. The tzibur is kdoshim to you. It's a public. It's not an individual kadosh the way we achieve the Kedoshim is Tihiyu, is as a group. Exactly. What Rav Kook says over there, as an individual, you lose touch of that many times. And it's a lot harder to bring your meaning, your personal meaning, into what you're doing. And that is the reason why one has to start counting six days and then a Shabbos, or a Shabbos and then six days. And taking it back to what you were saying, how sometimes there's a situation when a person is by themselves as an individual, but he is still part of the Tzibur. He's helping, actually, the Tzibur. He is, he is saving the Tzibur, right? And I think that's what we can see, like you were saying, we can see it wonderfully from our Parsha, is the idea that even though each individual is on his own by themselves and supposedly separated from the public, however, we're still part of the public. We're still part of the Amichad, of the Tzibur, of the Klaichad. And you know, we're Erev Shavuos, and then the famous saying of Ki'ishachad Belevichad, that Am Yisrael came to Har Sinai, everybody as one, unified as one nation, ready to be Mechabal the Torah. And the interesting thing is why suddenly, meaning before they receive the Torah, just standing there, suddenly they become one. 
on, and it connects to what you're saying, that when they had the same goal, when they're striving to reach the same place, they reached Har Sinai, they're waiting, all waiting for the same thing. That's what unites us together. And that's what, at the end of the day, what'll make me take a step back or take a step forward is if I feel together with Klal Yisrael that I'm striving for the same goal. We're all looking and trying to reach the same thing. We're hoping for the same thing. We're all standing under Har Sinai waiting for receiving the Torah. Wonderful, wonderful. Great. Yitzhi, thank you for your time. Shkoyer. Shkoyer. Thanks, Tuvio. We'll talk next week, Yitzhi. Chak Sameach. Bye. We'll be in touch.